सो यस हेलो एवरी वन आई एम इट्स मी अभे एंड टूडे वी विल डिस्कस द कॉल फोर सी थाउजेंड सेवन टू सेवन सिक्स एंड लेट्स मूव ऑन टू स्टैंडिंग फर्स्ट लाइक इट वॉज अ क्वाइट ग्रेट कॉन्टेस्ट फॉर मी एज आई सॉल्व द फर्स्ट ट्वेंट फोर एंड टू टू मच टाइम इन सी बट इट टुक मी आर टू स्ट्राइक द लॉजिक्स आई डिट गेट द इंट्यूशन लाइक हाउ आई प्रोसीड विद इट बट येस आई वट आई थिंक आफ्टर सो मच टाइम इज क्वाइट सिंपल एंड क्वाइट बेसिक थिंग विच इज़ अ प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ रिलेटिव प्राइम्स सो वी विल मूव ऑन फर्दर Till then, uh, we will start with the a. Uh, what was the a problem is uh, we are given an array with length n, and we have to find whether a non-empty subsequence means at least one element uh, whose products uh, product of subsequence is not a perfect square. So what we can do is at least like we uh, subsequence is not empty means we have at least one element. So we will find any one element which is not a perfect square. and that will be answer if i find any of the element which is not a perfect square like in the first array i find 5 so our answer will be yes in the second array like 100 and uh, 10000 so these both are perfect square so definitely the answer will be zero because i need at least one uh, perfect non perfect square uh, that that's only the whole subsequence can be uh, the uh, the no uh, the product can be non uh, non perfect square so this was a basic uh, intuition which i got it and yes implement it like check how i implement this so it was like i had taken the inputs in a of i and took the check the square root of a of i in long long check that is means if the uh, inputs is 5 uh, then check will store 2 uh, not 2.2 or 3 it means 2 into 2 that is 4 which is not equal to 5 that is the 5 is not a perfect square so i will print yes otherwise after traversing full array if i didn't get any of non perfect square so the answer will be no so this was the flashing a question like can be done at max 2 minutes if you have idea how to get with the perfect squares so let's move on to problem b like problem b was and o big sum so it was quite like that we are given two integers n and k and we have to find all the numbers between 0 to 2k minus 1, uh, whose bitwise and uh, is zero, and sum is at max as possible. So it was also quite flashing question. Like uh, first, like I saw that risk is 2 comma 2. It is 4, and this uh, 10,000 is for 20. And definitely, I applied the power mode, and yes, I got the answer. But what is the proof? Let's find it. So like here, uh, let's do the proper color. So yeah, if Uh, like it was like if we are found to uh, two ratio of k minus one. This is for the like if uh, k is three two, so two ratio of uh, k minus one will get the maximum value of with k bits. Like k is equal to three, so two ratio of k minus one will be equal to seven, and seven as max value with k bits. K is equal to three and three bits. So this the purpose of two uh, k minus one. so what we have to do is uh, we have to find the sum uh, maximize the sum and find the all the sub uh, all the possible values in the array of size n whose n is zero so like uh, uh, get like this like uh, i have this like uh, this is one of the number 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 and its size is n like this size is n because we have to find n uh, n size number And uh, n size, uh, n size array, and each number size is uh, each number size is k. So what we will do is at uh, at once we need like I need zero here, I need zero here, I need zero here, I need zero here, I need zero here. So like in each uh, like if we are like this, because I have to also make the bitwise and equal to zero of uh, all the like this is. If this is a one element like three, like for first case three comma zero, so this makes the bitwise and equal to zero and sum equal to three. So like this, I have to make all the bitwise and equal to zeros. So uh, here is the possibility lies. Uh, I will put one zero in the first row, uh, only one zero in the second row, only one zero in the third row, and one zero in the fourth row, and the uh, one zero in the like each rows, and I iterate over uh, all the ends like uh, for the first end. What what will the possibilities like n? A uh, zero value uh, pass with the all the ends, and for second array it was also pass with the all the ends. So what will the total possibilities? Like it can be like of matrix, so it will be like n raised to the power k, and 
this is the kind of proof like we will how can we form full array because at least we will use only one one zero to make our sum uh, maximize maximize our sum and it will cover all the possibilities with uh, all the n between this case and to apply the modulo we will use uh, 10 raised to the power 9 modulo with uh, 10 raised to the power 9 and here we will use a modulo function so yes let's hop on to uh, the like it is combinatorix problem so yeah let's check the implementation like i have taken two uh, two integers n k and it's my uh, like i have the function pm which take the modulo uh, like uh, i have fixed the value of modulo here 1 e 9 plus 7 and when both the values come here uh, it will uh, multiply uh, it will raise power uh, modulo base function and return the power with after computing all the values with modulo and at last i will print that value so yeah it was also kind of bit flashy question let's me refresh the settings so yeah it's was uh, testing is over and yes at least i can see all of them as solved uh, within at fast as they can uh, so yeah let's move on okay plans took 10 minutes how is all uh, okay 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 he also did the same oh uh, let's move on let's move on to problem c what was his product one module and yeah it was like quite a striking problem like uh, it we are given with the integer n and we have to find the longer subsequence whose product is one modulo n uh, so uh, here uh, first i was thinking like when i read the test cases i was quite familiar with like all the numbers are relative primes like these are not divisible with uh, the number n so i get the intuition from here but i didn't get the logic like how should i go with that uh, relative primes numbers so after like uh, thinking very much i have created so much test cases on the copy like uh, test case 6 7 8 i solved them but at last uh, suddenly i strike that into the mind like for it was it is like kind of property like uh, if we multiply the relative primes of n like n is 5 so what can be the possible number 1 2 3 4 so if you multiply them these are relative primes whose gcd with 5 is uh, 1 uh, yeah so if you if i multiply these them then uh, the possibilities come with like uh, possibility come with minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 like i am saying plus 1 minus 1 like this if you multiply all of these values then you will you will get 24 which is like uh, modulo 5 minus 1 which is 25 minus 1 if you take from till here then you will get something like 6 which is modulo 5 plus 1 so it is kind of like this values so here i come the intuition with like uh, if i move on to uh, case 6 uh, let's move on to uh, like uh, it, question may 8 tha. Uh, let's move on to 8 like what we can get 1 3 5 uh, 7 these are the these are the relative primes so uh, here i can get like if you multiply all of these like 5 and 15 15 to 7 uh, like 35 35 105 105 is kind 104 plus 1 like if any point i get the plus 1 so it is a possibility like i got one mod uh, n so what i did is uh, i uh, find all the relative relative primes and at last if i get one so i will print this sequence if not i will remove one like in the previous case uh, if i remove all the case like if uh, okay it's, it is not available like in the uh, case of 5 1 2 1 2 3 4 this is given plus uh, this is giving me minus 1 which i don't need it uh, this is giving plus 1 this is like alternative like i like i can show you uh, the proof also i have if i have saved that okay so yeah you can read this uh, the product of integers are related prime are congruent to plus minus modulo n so this is kind of proof also so i will mention this link in the description box you can check it out like this is a same question like what we have to do is we have to store all the relative primes and if at last i get the one uh, at last i get the one so i will print that sequence otherwise i will remove the last one and print this, se this sequence so it was kind of this question so yeah let's check the implementation like it's also tagged with maths and number three so what is it i took the inputs n 
uh, I take the input n and str is quite like uh, I was I was multiplying each time str with i and taking the modulo with n at oh, sorry and at last if I get str equal to 1 and then I will print the whole sequence otherwise I will print the whole sequence minus 1 that is I will uh, increase in the count till it is less than 1 and I will I will print this whole sequence after leaving the last element so it was like answer was uh, taking all the i's whose gcd of i and n equal to 1 so it was the question of uh, number 3 yeah, it was also question of like today's question was uh, contest was quite great uh, as i can say so like d problem i was thinking on d uh, like it can be uh, it can be done with the square root decomposition but was it but i didn't did it uh, i built something but yes it I didn't uh, result it resulted with it so when I will solve it uh, I will explain I will put an explanation with it but yes many of them solved the question yeah 800 solved them so it must be solved so I thinking for the mos or the square root composition decomposition so let's hope uh, like I can check I can build myself the logic without seeing the editorial first so yeah this was the core for round 7 6 division 2 and if you are new to our channel do hit the like and subscribe button and we will meet in the next tutorial so yeah